Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Spark of Genius Flesh and Blood production. And we've got some blit. Nope, classic constructed. I fooled you again. <laughs> so him. I got him. So this is going to be the starting video in our, the inaugural video in our new series called Pro Tour Prep. And Pro Tour Prep is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, we're going to be testing some CC matchups in anticipation for the Pro Tour in New Jersey happening in uh, mid May. And part of these series will be CC games. There will also be a couple like discussion series, like the um, we'll do we'll do kind of like a revisit of some of the Everfest cars to see if there's any like cool new tech we can bring for Pro Tour stuff like that. So it's going to be a mixture of gameplay and um, and uh, discussion type videos. So watch out for that. Uh, this is going to be the first one, and we're bringing on Chain versus Lexi. So I'm uh, my name is Eric. I'll be I'll be rocking the chain here and. I'm joined by my co-creator, co-compatriot, co-commentary, co-caster. I always flip him around every once in a while so people don't get used to it. Uh, how you doing, Rob? They don't get used to it. I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm trying to rectify myself from that pretty lackluster chain gameplay that I, we put out a little while ago, which I felt pretty bad about watching, rewatching that. I'm like, I could do a lot uh, better. Um, hey, whenever you feel bad, just watch my gameplay, and you know, <laughs> you'll be okay. Uh, yeah, this is. We are trying to be as entertaining as possible with also providing the uh, the a uh, level of gameplay that people can at least learn from, right? So, yeah. uh, the yeah. the main reason we're putting out this matchup is we don't want to play any more Starvo. We don't really want to play any more Prism. I feel like that's quite worn out at this point. People are kind of sick of watching those. We, we do have a, a fair amount of Viscera. We'll bring out Viscera a lot more later and some Dash also. Uh, but we're kind of looking at that tier 1.5 slash 2 heroes, not in the triangle. Is that a, is that a triangle? Yeah. The, the, tri that, the trifecta that, 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 that um, of scissors in the yeah. top, top echelon, yeah. So we, we don't know, uh, this this was recorded ahead of the ban, uh, ban and errata announcement, the BNR, uh, ban and revisions, I think. Uh, and mm -hmm. we, you know, we're kind of covering our bases just in case, you know, maybe they hit Prism, Starvo, and Viscerai. Maybe just Starvo, maybe Prism. Like, we, we don't really know um, yeah. what they're going to hit, but... I think we can all agree that I don't think you could hit anything more in Chain. I don't know what else you could take from this Chain's guy. He's been hit to not... the ground, man. Poor guy. <laughs> uh, as well as Lexi, both very strong decks. We just want to uh, bring out that kind of extra, extra gameplay because we really don't see that much of this. And so mm -hmm. I'll be starting with Chain. I'm just going to go very quickly over the key uh, cards in this matchup because we did kind of talk a little bit more about Chain in the other video. So Art of War, just like the pinnacle of existence here. The more Art of Wars you can play in a game is chained, the better off you are. It's just very good, very flexible. Games go again if you don't have go again. If you need that extra uh, extra go again off of uh, Shackle and this, you can even have Creepers to go extra wide. Very, very good. Or just the plus one if you already have go again. It's like Marvian Skies and Shadow Puppetry. Second card, CNC. Uh, not usually a key card in chain. Key card in this matchup. CNC is just so good against Lexi. Uh, puppetry mm -hmm. into CNC making it seven. Art of War into CNC making it seven. Very very hard breakpoint to block as Lexi because of the lack of armor Lexi inherently has. Uh, but that oh so juicy double arsenal slot that you could potentially hit there. Also Lexi does have uh, a, a good chunk of two blocks and no blocks if you're running things like lightning press and such. Right. Yeah. Uh, last is shadow puppetry. Just an overall, uh, just such a good card in chain. It's just it's not attack action has go again. It costs zero. Everything you want, like if it had blood debt, it would be ungodly good. But like we're, we'll take it, right? Um, definitely a key key majestic in uh, in the uh, non attack action slot for chain enables a lot of go wide combos. If it hits, it gains that extra like look at the top can go even wider. I've had some pretty dirty turns where I've just like found shadow verser and stuff like that off the top to go even wider. Very good just in general for chain. So art of war and shadow puppetry just the pillars. C and C just yeah. very good in this matchup. Um, as far as the sideboard, so the list I am using is not my own list. It is the one that just top aided the calling Indianapolis. Indian Indianapolis. Indianapolis. It's like, it's, it's like Massachusetts. Uh, yeah. Very, very <laughs> difficult. Uh, so this, uh, this is Cody's list. Cody, I think. Um, and kind of interesting. I didn't, I didn't want to make any changes. I kind of just wanted to run it and see how it runs. There are some interesting choices he made in the list. There are red vexing malices. There's Tome of Findels, which at first look dastardly. And then I'm just, oh, that's actually really, really strong. If you can like high roll, high roll like Jesus there and get like get it off the creepers and just keep going. If you have enough sources of go again, if you have Art of War, if you have Puppetries, Mavri, and stuff like that, it can be very, very good to draw those extra cards and gain some life. Um, 
So a bit of a different list here. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, I am running 60 cards in this particular matchup. The cards that I sided out are the... I sided out one Hal from Beyond, so we're running two reds in the list. Um, just because we're not really expect... Like, uh, I think into this matchup, I'm not really expecting it to go super long because I don't think Lexi has that many tools to be able to uh, fatigue as well as something like an Oldham or a Starbo. So I'm not expecting yeah. to play as much of a role. Uh, we took out two red Vexing Malices. Uh, just kind of a card that I don't feel that's super... Ne We're still running blues. I uh, just don't feel it super necessary in this particular matchup. I feel like this is better in those longer matchups where you just need a little bit uh, a little bit to get over, like the, the mixed damage 2-3. I don't feel like that's the case here. Two Runic Reclamations. There's no target in this matchup. There's no... Or like Channel Lake, I guess. Uh, but... I don't, like, you have to line it up perfectly, essentially. Like, you have to have Channel Lake, and you have to have Runic, and not just Banish it, right? Yep. So, not enough targets here. Taking out the three red unmovables, uh, it's not for this matchup. Sense. It's not for this matchup, just straight, just straight and forward here. It's also very expensive to get out if you have a Frostbite, and you have Channel out paying four mm -hmm. for, it's just well, very, very difficult. Even just one Frostbite, yeah, pitch four, yeah. not worth, yeah. Um, taking out three Invert Existences. Um, again, this is more for those longer matchups against, like, Starvo, uh, and any kind of fatigue matchups. It is a blue. It doesn't block. Uh, in this matchup, when I see the Lexi, I don't really know how ice it is, how lightning it is. I'm trying to hedge my bets here. And having three blue non-blocks into a Lexi where I don't know what it is, I'd rather have more blocking cards. And like there is a chance that maybe they don't have a non-attack and attack to hit off the two arcane. But I just, I don't particularly love it for this matchup. I don't think it's for this matchup, so I'm not running it. Uh, and then we have the, the two blue time steps and the seeping, the blue seeping. This is straight up like, for control fatigue like this is like not the package i am running the eclipse uh and the reason i'm running the eclipse is to hedge in case rob does decide he needs to pivot to a more like a slower game plan with more ice cards because maybe he is a super ice focused lexi and that eclipse will actually allow me to stack for the uh, late game and try to hit him yep. hit him with uh, hit him where it hurts because you only have so many channels right and if i can force some blocks out of him and actually get him to block with channel if i can get him to uh block with other cards to give me, give me Frostbite, then I'm just going to be in better shape. And so that's the sideboard that I'm not using in the matchup as well. Very nice. Uh, the Vexing Quill Hand I'm not using because, you know, there's no there's no arcane there's no arcane damage that I can think of on Lexi's side. So we're just going to be running the Skullcaps, Husk, Creepers, and Grasp. And this also, Foil Silver uh, is a Shackle. Haven't found one since the last time we recorded. I really need to just go buy a Shackle, but... I'm just so lazy. I don't know. I was, I was about to say, I see you rocking that silver. Can you talk more about <laughs> the choice to play silver? About this foil just... silver here? Uh, because because shackles just That's cash money, right? Yeah, yeah, shackles are just cash money, right? So uh, Shiny cash money. Exactly. Proof. Okay, so onto the Lexi side. We are running, of course, three of a kind. A uh, very notorious card in Ranger. Uh, can make or break a turn, pretty much. You, play, you can only play from Arsenal. At least with Voltaire, you can put two things in your arsenal, so there's a good chance you'll be able to play two of your arrows if you draw them. Uh, but yeah, very good card. Uh, can really work off of like limited resources. I can just draw three and hopefully get a big turn off. Uh, Channel Lake, of course, into Chain. We want to make sure we stifle these turns as early as possible and as, as a, I guess, as a robustly as possible. So Channel as Lake is very good. Robustly as possible, yes. Like, just like put your turn to the dirt, you know. Uh, <laughs> push it to the dirt. All just right. shove into the dirt. And then we have Frostlock, uh, probably the most disruptive arrow in the deck. Uh, any of the zero costs that he has, he cannot pitch or play them. I think that's it, just pitch or play. Anyway, you can't use them. So, you know, it might be very disruptive for your turn if you let this go through, especially if I can dominate it. Husk, husk, and, um, husk, 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 husk. You do have husk, that is true. <laughs> One time use, yeah. I'll and take uh, in terms of the equips, of course, New Horizon to gain that second arsenal slot. Very powerful. Uh, I am using the Bullseye Bracers for the Arcane Barrier. Um, the other card I would have run if he didn't have any Arcane damage would have been Shock Charmers. Very good into, you know, getting that double on hit effect with one extra damage, but you know, Chain will run the Arcane Barrier. And um, yeah, Perch Grapplers, uh, pretty good for getting a bunch of go again. Uh, also for two block, you know, yeah, not you're, bad. You're, you're probably going to end up blocking with it, but like it's still like the flexibility if, if I break, There's, there's right? flexibility, exactly. Yeah, so not too bad. Uh, of course, Voltaire is like the only weapon, I think, that Lexi runs. Unless you want to do more like a Death Dealer build. but um, mm -hmm. Yeah, like the Lightning anyway. the lightning Death Dealer. Exactly. So, yeah, Voltaire is my uh, go-to weapon right now. There are cards that I am not running in the into the matchup. Uh, first of all, there is Blink. So, this is more of a tech choice against uh, Prism. So, we'll not be playing that into Chain. 
and of course the shock charmers and lastly uh a set of fatigue shots so this is very good into kind of go tall heroes um if it hits it halves their first attack on their on their turn so you know great into guardian but into chain who goes more wide uh not needed so and it also kind of dilutes the elemental ratios a bit if i put them in so less ice or less lightning mm-hmm. um so yeah that's pretty much what i sided out and yeah. that's could be it interesting for my side. Yeah, as we roll, how, how do you think about the matchup? Just like inherently, do you think either of these heroes are favored yeah. in the matchup? Or I mean, I'm kind of I'm kind of worried because it's very hard to outpace chains damage. Um, if yeah, I can it's be just disruptive pivot, enough, right? though. Yeah, exactly. If I can be able to disruptive enough with ice, I think I have a chance. But I think it might be chain favored a little bit. Yep, I think I think like the the husk pivot. Like I've got ten armor if I'm at lower health, eleven with the creepers. So I That's I could I could pivot one good turn. Much. Yeah, if I can, I get uh, the key break point that I see. If I can wait till after turn three to use Husk, I'm in a I'm in a pretty good spot, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, okay. it really kind of depends on what kind of build Rob is going. So I rolled a ten, so I might actually roll. I might actually go first. <laughs> question Come on. Mark. I got a seven. A, that's a one. Meaning there's Solid. no way you could have more than me. I will be going first. <laughs> I have a d20 that I'm rolling alongside that one. I'd believe right. it honestly. I <laughs> So for chain, I always, yeah, I'm going to start. So chain, I always want to go first. Uh, Just getting the shackle going um, almost for free, essentially, right? So it's it's very very useful for that. Uh, So what do we got here? Hmm. 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 I agree. (laughs) Hmm. Yeah. Pretty, Pretty interesting turn. Uh... So here you just want to kind of think about what you want to arsenal and then you just want to kind of work around the rest of the cards you have as chain, I feel, is is, is the more useful kind of idea here. So I'm just going to start off with uh, Shadow of Urser, uh, banishing a Bounding Demagon to give it go again. Bounding Demagon red. Uh, getting that in the banish zone early is super, super useful. Makes sense. Let's block with an Ice Quake for two. Yep. One block of my many two, two block cards. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I am then going to create a Shackle. Shackle like a high. That's mm-hmm. technically silver, but nobody nobody asks, so don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> one one silver for me. Yeah. Uh, play some knickknacks. Play some knickknack bric-a-brac. I'm gonna get a pitch of ve- uh, vexing malice to activate grasp with arc knight. I do actually have rune chance, <laughs> so. I'll, uh, I'll just, I should have uh, been copper. He should just continue with the copper. money. I the money themed. I guess I'll just put the rune chant up here, actually, so it makes more sense. Sure. So I'll put the rune chant up here. Uh, so I have two floating. I'm not going to swing into Rosetta. I don't want to filter. Doesn't make any sense because technically I do have two floating here. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm just going to I'm just going to say uh, pass. And what what is nice is if he decides to do something like wacky on his turn, like Vol- load Voltaire and do whatever. I still have two cards bounding and one card in hand. I can punish him. And so what you want to try to do in this matchup is make sure kind of same thing against Prism. Don't don't let him turn one. Like in this case, it's not double aura, but like don't let him get some free agency on board. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. I'm going to draw back up here. Yep. Okay. So Tunic goes to one. Make sure I don't uh, I'm, I'm taking. That. I'm taking one from Bounding, by the way. From the Bounding? Yep. Makes sense. Ah, I turning don't... on Skullcap. The genius. Exactly. It's just literally <laughs> every game I play against you, I can feel you wanting to Skullcap. <laughs> okay. All right. So... Let's is, do. Is really fuzzy. Mm. Uh, feel free to keep going. I'm just trying to. There we go. Just ad- admiring just, your hero. Just like, oh, this is no, the camera. Just, uh, yeah, it's just the focus. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> okay, let's um, let's pitch Blizzard Bolt, uh, to use Voltaire. Mm-hmm. So I will be putting a Frost Lock face up in the arsenal. Sure. Okay. And I think are you giving I it a will... plus one or go again? Oh, good point. Yeah, I'll be giving it. Um, yeah, I'll be giving it go again. Sure. So I do have an extra arsenal slot now because of New Horizon. I will um, bend one to come in with Frostlock. Mm-hmm. I will show you a Winter's Bite, so I'll fuse it. So it will be coming in for four uh, with go again, of course. And if it does hit, uh, your zero costs cannot be pitched or played. Yeah, that's not so much. And of course, deal. your uh, your cards do cost an additional one this turn, while this is active. But I won't yeah. matter too much. No, I don't run any D reacts in this, so it's kind of 
not as. I also don't have any abilities that I activate on your side. Um, yep, looking at blocking with, probably just blocking with two cards here. Um, that makes sense. So I'll put this diagonally to say that I used it once. You have two Not sure what the, what the pros do. Yeah, I got two. You have two. <laughs> Could be blocked with bounding for sure. I'm just thinking about the second card here. So there is something to be said with like just blocking with a piece of armor. Um, or just like blocking with like skull cap and grass, but my hand is not particularly strong, so I'm just gonna be blocking with uh, blue bounding and blue minnowism. Okay, full block sounds good. I will activate Voltaire one more time. Yep. Put upside down. <laughs> That's definitely what the pros do. Is it good? <laughs> Let's put endless arrow face up. Yep. And uh, I didn't see you nod there, but you might have. <laughs> yes. I was looking at my stuff. <laughs> I saw something going on. Uh, I'll give it, it plus one. So let's go in with endless arrow for five. No go again. Uh, goes back to hand. I don't really care because you've got one card in hand, anyways. <laughs> yeah, no uh, go again. I'm also okay with you putting that card in the arsenal. So uh, I'm gonna say no blocks. Okay, I won't react. I'll take five. Goes back to hand. Just, let's take it back. And I will arsenal one card, passing it to you. Yep. All right, one shackle, no whammies, one whammies, no whammies. Oh, oh big whammy. Oh, get out of here. Let's go. Uh, that's a little awkward. Okay, so I still have the bounding from last turn, which is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a little depressing. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play uh, Mavrian Skies Blue from Arsenal. Uh, it's always nice getting like a uh, like a go against source from Arsenal turn one, so you can guarantee mm -hmm. like something. Uh, if you did hit something, then Spicy. you can keep going. Yeah, uh, I'm then going to uh, bounding. Uh, so this has go again off the Mavrian Skies. This also had the one yep. rune chant. So it could be one arcane and then four go again. If it hits, create a rune chant. I have two cards in hand. Gotcha. Okay. So let's see what I want to do next turn. Um, it's also nice because it turns on the Rosetta. So, you know, Pog, as they say. Mm hmm. Okay. So you said it was four go again and one rune chant? Yes. And you've got two cards left in hand? Yep. And I still have Shy. I haven't Just... shackled yet. Haven't shackled, so I'm guessing um, there could be a Rosetta obviously coming through. I'm wondering if I want to over pitch for the Arcane here, um, or just take the Arcane. Probably not too bad if I take it. Yeah, it depends on your hand. Lexi is like just like the more cards you use to block, like your hand is exponentially worse. So it's, it's worse. Kind of, yeah, so yeah. This is like one of those decks where it's not well, like I mean, Guardian. Luckily, luckily for me, my hand isn't that great right now. Yeah. So but that's how I, I felt with the blocking like, with the minimalism and the blue bounding. Like I don't want to keep these right now. Look, I can survive pretty well without, you know, half of these cards. Um, yeah. So let's just do. Yeah, let's pitch the Blizzard Bolt yellow. Sure. So I'll block one. I'll keep one in case he rose enemy. Might as well. Yep. And uh, let's block here with um, the endless arrow that I took back for three. So I'll be taking one. So I can. Gen I'm gonna generate a. Oh, generate a oh there's not hit. Right, yep. right. Well, because I don't have that really good yeah, blocking, armor. Block, blocking two cards on four is so awkward. <laughs> it's really see. awkward. Yeah, I forgot about the on hit, but nothing I can do about it anyway. So yeah. I'll take the one anyway and uh, yep. let you take a rune chant. I have yep. the extra pitch here, so. Maybe it'll come in handy for the rune chant. True. Um, I'm going to. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure here because because I'm chain. So I'm gonna create a shackle. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, create a shackle. Pitch a captain's call to. Come in with an unhallowed rights. I don't have any mm. blood debt. I don't have any, like, howl or anything grave. like that. Yeah, I don't have any yeah, howls yeah. in the grave. Uh, so I'm not going to be cool. putting one on top. I do have two yeah. floating so after one, that. So one plus four? One plus four. Two floating. So I'll spend the one to block the rune chant. Yep. The four damage, so obviously a Rosetta or a yep. Grasp. I'm not sure what he wants to do, but Rosetta is probably the better play. Yep. Um, 
be thinking whether or not I want to actually do this. Um, Mad Reaping Turn 1. I know how what kind of games this is going to be now. <laughs> it's a game against Robert. How, how differently could it go? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> um, I'll block for three with Blizzard Bolt. I'll take the one. Sure. Uh, I will come in with Rosetta. I'm just trying to put as much damage here. So this was just a... Uh, yeah. Not a bad turn, honestly, because we came in for like 13 mm. damage. Yeah, off of a uh, three card hand, I think. Yeah. And you whipped hard on the rune. Uh, two, two, uh, uh, two card hand. Uh, one was an arsenal. One arsenal. Yeah. And the bounding from Banish, so not bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to take all of it, take the four here. Sounds good. Uh, I pass. Mm. I'm starting to wonder how useful New Horizon really is this game. It might just be a source of block, to be honest. Well, the double arsenal, like, if you three of a kind kind of thing, right? But I'm not, yeah, I'm not totally true. sure in this Yeah, matchup. I'll have to see how it plays out. I think my hand's going to be so limited anyway, unless I get, like, an explosive turn, that it won't matter too much. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, so I believe Tunic and Lexi occur kind of interchangeably. I can pick which one I go first. Well, you have start, start, of turn, start of turn is start of turn, right? So you have to Tunic first. Oh, Tunic is start of turn, and, and Lex, uh, Lexi is once per turn. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought it was start of turn. Yes, no, sorry, no, no, sorry. No. I think it's just uh -oh. the act still the action phase for Lexi. Gotcha. So I will use Lexi's now, ability now. So I will flip over a Winter's Bite, giving you a Frostbite token. Do, do you have... I do actually have a, a foil copper? one here. No, I have a fo I have a Rainbow Foil Frostbite, so let's bring that one I'm up. I'm Everfest. Yeah, Everfest. very nice. Very nice. Okay, so I gave you the, uh, the nice little uh, Frostbite. I think I might just play it just to disrupt you a little more. Let's go with uh, Winter's Bite here. So you either discard or pay one. Discard or pay one, huh? Mm. Mm -ha -ha, mm -ha. Discard or pay one. I think what I'll do is I'll pitch this. Uh, <laughs> I'll pitch this Eclipse. Lol. <laughs> Uh, I got it quite early here. Can't block with it, so I'm just going to pitch it. That works. Okay. I'll arsenal a card pass with you. Sounds good. Uh, always good to put that on the bottom. So we have two shackles. Uno. Duo. Oh, that's yeah, very oh, sad. The, the combo. The combo, but it's not in my hand. Combo wombo. So I have a frostbite. Um, hmm. I definitely do want to get rid of that frostbite, so... I think I'm just going to have a pretty tame turn here. Uh, good, good. I'm going to be shackling. Uh, sorry, I'm going to be activating chain, so I have to pay for the frostbite. So I'm going to pitch minnowism to pay for it. Okay. The frostbite's gone. I'll put it over here because I imagine I'll get more of that later. Um, and then I am just going to ghostly visit for four go again. Okay. So I'm at uh, and you have one floating, one, one card hand. Yeah. Okay, no non-attack was played, so Rosetta is currently turned off, which is good. Correct. Um, yeah, I think that I I'm going to take... I'll take the four here. Yeah. Uh, I will just Rosetta for two. Okay. Yeah, um, I'll take that as well. Yep. I'll Arsenal. Nothing too pressuring, so I'm okay with that. Yep. Okay, Tunic goes to three. Yeah, I really gotta hit one of these shackles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to uh, really accelerate the turn. Let's uh, use Lexi. I will show you a, a bolt and shot. No effect, but I'm putting it face up for New Horizon at least. Yep, yep, that's fair. So you can load with your second. Uh, you what's, your, what's your Lexi mat? God damn, Rob. I don't have one. <laughs> I'm gonna ship you mine. I'm currently cheating. I've only got one arsenal. I'll, sh I'll ship you mine. <laughs> oh, how nice of you. Um. Okay, so. Kind of awkward. Well, maybe so not. While, while he's thinking, I'll say, I'll say in this particular board state, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I've got three shackles. I still have the husk. I've got a f a four cards. It's a pretty decent arsenal. Um, he did keep all his cards. He has bolt and shot. I might be just taking a shit ton of damage here to turn on my turn and try to pivot, but we'll see what he does. Generally, you're not going to want to husk just pure damage. You're going to want to husk mm -hmm. like a really nice on hit. All right. Let's go with a Weavice to start mm. my turn off. So dominate... And plus two. Yep. Um, so we are going to spend... If you, if you fuse. Um, if I fuse, which yep. I, I plan to. Uh -oh. I'm going to use the... You're showing me Bolton shot, so I don't know. To use it. <laughs> yeah. Voltaire to use tunic. Voltaire. 
Yep. I will put Blizzard Bolt face up. Sure. And I will be giving it Le Go Again. Le Go Again. Sounds good. Okay. Let's do a pitch my other Blizzard Bolt. Spend one on this Blizzard Bolt with Go Again. I will show you a pulse of Volt Haven. Oh, shit. That's so we are good. coming in now for seven dominated. Uh, seven and whenever dominate. anything hits this turn, it will create a frostbite. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. You have, you have uh, one card in hand? I got one card in hand. You just have the pulse. Okay. Bolton Shot cost zero. Yep. So you can do that and probably arsenal yeah. the pulse and pass. Um, still pretty good. So now I just have to count. Can I just take two frostbites and still do my turn, you know? Yeah. Uh, exactly. Seven, do that. Boom shot will come in for. Ah, oh, you flipped it. You didn't load it. So okay. Yeah. So it'll only be coming in for four. Technically. So it'll be four, not five, exactly. <clears throat> yeah. I've gotten used to like counting my misplays. I realized I didn't have to use my tunic <laughs> because I have one float. Oh, I got you. I thought I was gonna volunteer twice for some reason, but nope. That's fine. <laughs> Sometimes counting is Count not as hard. easy as it looks. Yeah, not right. as easy as it looks. Uh, I'm trying to think if I can just block with a card. And just be okay. Mm -hmm. uh, pitch. Do that. Get that. Probably fine, honestly, to just block with this. And then it comes in for four and just block with this and this. So that's seven, you said? This is seven, dominated, though. Um, and then, yeah, Bolton will be four. And I can also just keep the Bolton if I want to. Um, I do have the mm -hmm. Arsenal slot still, so I could just keep it an Arsenal discard. It's true. But banking off the ability of Blizzard Bolt, kind of good. Also true. I'm going to block with Unhallowed Rights. It's not super great in my hand right now. Uh, so oh, I'd good. rather just block it and, t and save taking the damage. Four? I'm taking four and getting a Frostbite. So yep. I'm 30. One Frostbite. I'll then yeah. let you deal with the Bolton shot coming in for four more. Yeah. So the Bolton shot for four more. Uh, that I'm going to yeah in reality I probably should have just oh that had to dominate yeah that's fair yeah it's hard to get over you have to probably yeah. husk it there's three to block four, five, fully. six yeah I didn't actually have enough to do that yeah uh this is just gonna be whether I can take two frostbites and be okay <laughs> <laughs> uh pitch for that. Yeah, I'll take four. Okay, fair enough. You probably have a good turn coming up. I'll uh, arsenal this great. last card. I just would rather keep the last card I was thinking of blocking with in case I get mm. good stuff on the shackle, which knowing me, I won't, but I'm going to try. All right, what do we got here? Let's give me a bounding. Oh, my good God. Oh, give me oh, okay. more. I, I, did get, I did get a bounding. At, However, at cost it cost me an hour of hard of war. This is not going very well here. Mm. Okay. Oh man, what the heck am I looking at here? You're looking at your hand. Yeah. Uh, so the reason I yeah, right. was okay with the frostbite is because I have a little and a blue, and my reveal mm. is going to be this rift bond. So it's going to let me get another, uh, another, a minimalism for the additional reveal, and it, it, two frost, these two frostbites are gone because I've paid three for it. So I'm revealing mm -hmm. the rift bind for the additional cost to get a minimalism. That's why I was kind of okay because I didn't really want to block with the rift bind because then I. Didn't necessarily have a target to grab uh, to to for the additional cost for Blittle. Gotcha. Um, okay, yeah. So you ended up pitching fully for that, right? You caught you paid I off pitched two fully, frostbites. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So now I'm just thinking so if I want a red one or a blue one, because I need oh, a non-attack okay. to uh, get the bounding out of banish. Uh, mm -hmm. So if that I is can correct. Do yes. Red. Do that. Do, uh, this is coming in for three go again as, as I'm looking right, for the yeah. minimalism. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's red minimalism here. So a little minimalism package. When I first came out, I'm like, oh, but then your stacking is like up shit's creek. So you just spend all this time stacking your deck and then you just have to shuffle after the little. I'm just yep. like, okay. It's well. true. It's true. Yeah, you kind of just undo everything that you're like, your eclipse that you put under there. Yeah, you have it can to. be anywhere now. Yeah, you have to like 
physically not shackle every turn if you want to actually stack or just not use the additional cost for belittle and just draw it instead mm. uh, in this case i'm not really that's not oh. really my goal here yeah. But yeah i'll need a little more daring i'm not gonna block it so i'll take three sounds good to me oh your skull caps on i see what you're trying to do here i don't got no skull cap. you sneaky bugger you <laughs> i don't have skull cap well, i turned yours off oh but... Oh, I don't even cap. have skull. Holy <laughs> I shit! Always like, run skull literally cap. every matchup you can, you do. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh I'm forced not to. I'm, I'm gonna forced red, to play this new horizon. Get a red minimalism. Um, mm. Then I'm gonna create a shackle. It's like a chain. Mm. I'm gonna start like putting chain up here so people know that I'm actually using mm. it. Uh, and then I'm just gonna bounding. Uh, so this bounding is coming in for seven, so it's three plus three from Minoism, mm. uh, plus one from itself. So it's coming in for seven go again. I have two cards in hand. Ah, oh, two cards still? Yikes. So um, even even when Shane doesn't have Art of War, you can still string together some decent turns here. Uh, the thing is, like, I do have a really good turn coming up. However, with the husk that you have, like, I could I can, take I have all one, this damage. I'm, I'm allowed one pivot. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it's, it's really rough. Uh, I might end up just like fully blocking this turn and just not really doing anything mm. um yeah yeah it's pretty rough so you said it was seven right seven go again yep uh four from the bounding and then three from the minoism yeah two cards left i'll um yeah i could have taken a blue and done a slightly different line i could mention that next turn though sure yeah that's fine Okay, I'll block for seven. I, I did use two Weave Ices here, very unfortunately, but mm. I'll just fully block that out. Yep. Uh, I will then pitch a Rift by into Rosetta here for two and two. And do I keep this card or block two? Yeah. I'll you've keep only, it. I'll take four. Only, yeah, you've only taken three, so now you're taking seven. Oh, yeah. sorry. There we go. Um, that's it for me. I will just Arsenal my last card and oh, pass okay. to you. Okay, very simple turn. I will flip uh, pulse, pulse over to no, give frostbite. you a frostbite and gain go again, but it won't matter. I'm just gonna also this card. Yeah, the, the frost the frostbite matters, but the go again does not. Yeah, the go again. Yeah, it will not. Okay, this. Oh, this is not great. Okay, I need some help with my shackles. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four. Ooh. Oh, I got some help. But I only got one piece of help. Yep, so I've only hit two shackles so far out of four turns. What'd you get? Oh, it was, I got uh... Shadow, but I got two Captains and a Mob. So all of my non-attacks yeah. for Goic, I'm, I'm suffering here a little bit. <laughs> we'll see. I think I'm like the most well-positioned here to hopefully pull out a win. It's just, uh, we'll see if I, I can do it. That's true. Like, this is looking kind of... I mean, I am lower health than you are, but that's kind of always going to be the case against Chain, I feel. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, yeah. There's a couple things I can do here. Hmm. I've got like a... Yeah, this line's kind of awkward with the Frostbite. So I'm going to play the Shadow of Urser, uh, banishing Howl, and then pitching Captain's Call to pay off the Frostbite. Mm. Uh, yeah, so this is coming good. in for just two go again, and I have uh, two floating. Okay. I have Howl, Howl and the Banish from Shadow Bursar. I have not Shackled yet. Okay, let's just take the two. Yep, that makes sense. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to... There's two things I can do. Neither of them. That frostbite actually like prevented so much damage here. That's really good. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna play the howl. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to shackle. So I'm up to five. And then, so I have no floating. I have two in hand. I have one in arsenal. Uh. I'm going to pitch Shrill of Skull Form to okay. Rosetta okay. uh, for two and two, because I played a non-attack and attack. Uh, the Howl is not active as attack action only, but uh, right. I do have two so floating two after and that. two still? Yeah, still coming for two and two. I have one in mm -hmm. hand and one in arsenal. So I think this is probably okay to let through. Um, yeah, I'll take four more. 
All right. That's good, because I have Command and Conquer to finish that off. And that's coming mm. in for nine. And I have no floating. I have one card in hand. I really Command and Conquer. Learn. I'm uh, I'm showing everyone why this is my key card. He has oh. two cards in Arsenal. Now I'm going to force him to block with three cards or armor, which I'm fine with both. And I still have Husk. Yeah, no, that's that's really detrimental to, to everything I wanted to do this next turn. Um, <laughs> all, all my life, I just wanted to do things. But see, yeah, I see. I really want to like try something, though. I feel like I should just go for it. Um, it'll cost me the Tunic, though, but it might be okay to sacrifice Tunic. Yeah, you could Tunic and then block with two cards. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, sorry, Tunic Grapplers block with two cards. It'll be Tunic Grapplers two cards, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the goal, I think. Oh, I got it. It's a bit risky, but I can't just let you take all this momentum away. I mean, yeah, you got momentum you're, anyway. You're but... at 15, so you got to do something. Yeah. I'll block for six, Bolt and Shot, and uh, Chilling Ice Vein. Yep. And I'll, like you said, I will add in the Tunic, and I will add in the Perch Grapplers for nine. I will Arsenal pass. Okay. So this is one of those turns where I do have three of a kind. And it's okay on a low I, I card think, hand. To I think you. I think it. you need three of a kind to do something like that to like sack your armor. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, with pulse in arsenal and an arrow here, I feel like this is like I have a good recipe here to get. Something yeah, because off. you can you can still play it at arsenal, so you're like your Gucci, right? So exactly. So I just gotta make sure I draw enough like pitch and enough like maybe one more arrow would be great. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna pitch chilling ice vein. Yep. Fortunately, uh, to play my three of a kind. Sure. Let's draw three. Hopefully draw into some good ice and some good arrows. Or you whiff, like any any ranger I've ever seen in top eight in any national event. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three of a kind, notorious. Okay, yep. well. Live and die by the three. Live and die <laughs> by the blade. Well, I guess the arrow oh, in this case. Man. Yeah, this didn't really work out for me. <laughs> All right, uh, let's flip this with Lexi. I believe I can, yeah, I can flip that. Uh, yeah, you can flip it. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't really do anything, but it's fine. It won't do my, anything. My, my, might, might as well. Might as well. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So let's play the pulse. Yep. For plus four. Yep. And I'm going to not play anything from my hand because I actually no. These are arrows. <laughs> I'm very sad. Oh, that's so depressing. Yeah, I needed one arrow. At least I can get the ice, the chilling ice vein off. So I will spend one. <laughs> for the ice vein i will Easy. show you yep an amulet of ice sure so it's coming in for nine. So it's going to be nine uh if it hits you got to pay one or discard pretty much fastest armor block <laughs> of my life block nine yeah i am very sad i will arsenal this one card of the three that i can't use and i am done uh, i'll put this husk down here so i don't do you remember to, the blood uh, debt? Yeah. Just remember the blood debt. Remember the blood debt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, easiest nine of my oh. life, just because I have five cards and five shackles, and one of these cards mm -hmm. is the card I was looking for. So let's see if I can yeah. hit something off this five shackle. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. No, yes, no, yes, no. I'll take it, honestly. Based on what I've been shackling, I'll take the blue Debicon. <laughs> it's like ten times better from what you've seen before. Yeah, uh, yellow, yellow, sh yellow skull, red puppetry, yellow lead the charge of the misses. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna start putting these up here, like I did last game, just sideways, okay. so everyone can see my bench. Works. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's fuck some shit up, as they say in French. <laughs> that is true. That uh, is a French thing. Art of War from Arsenal. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the sneaky shit I was gonna do last turn was a uh, pitch, and then if you block the CNC for whatever, Art of War to give it the plus one, and then just break <laughs> it, break your break your heart oh, and soul. God. So if you gave me that one extra from the frostbite, I oh, might have God. actually like Art of War you, <laughs> and then actually just ruined your day because I was that, I was I been, was one pitch off. That would have been the end of our friendship. Just that would have been. <laughs> And that's pretty. It's pretty hard to like break friendship with Rob. Just FYI. So that that's saying something. That that would have done it. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. So I'm gonna definitely choose banish this ghostly visit, and mm. I'm also going to choose um, plus one plus one. So I'm gonna banish and draw two, and then plus one plus one. One, two. 
Oh, mm. it just keeps getting better. Oh my god. Talk about a, talk about a high roll. Yeah, this is miserable. Uh, yeah, I drew Shadow Puppetry, so let's play that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see Channel Lake Frigid for the first, like, five turns. I needed that! Come on! You, you really do. Um, I'm going to start off with this Ghostly Visit, so I'm going to pay one. Uh, this is coming in for six, so four, five, six, because of the Art of War buffing it by plus one, and if it hits, yeah. I get to banish the top card, and I'm, I may banish the top card from Puppetry. I have three cards in hand. I have another Ghostly and a Blue Bounding and Bash. And I'm okay. um, laughing to the bank. Yuki, oh, man. Yuki guaranteed me this was close to 50 fit now. So. <laughs> oh, did she? Yeah. Well, well, she, said, she said it's doable. It depends on the pilot. Yeah. yeah I, yeah. I think like heavy ice just loses, but like hybrid is okay. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this is pretty much only ice. I don't think I have a single lightning card. Um, Now, look what I ended up drawing together two, two channel lakes. Goodbye. I'm not, it's not worth saving any of that because this is too much pressure. I'll just die. So I'll, I'll block fully for six. Yep, makes sense. Uh, I will then... I was thinking of keeping one blue plus a channel, but um, I, I, I think you're going to be putting up way more pressure than what I can see right now, so... I am. Uh, I'm going to shackle. Yeah. Shackle like a high. And I'm going to play this Unhallowed Rites from hand. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm putting this Hal from Beyond to the bottom. Mm-hmm. Right. Makes uh, sense. That's going to be coming in for five go again off Shackle. Mm -hmm. I have two so cards I'll in hand. For... Um, I'll, bl I'll block for two, take three. Yep. Uh, I will then play... I need more space over here. Here we go. Uh, play a red Minoism. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I have this wonderful blue Bounding Demigon, which is very nice. Oh, uh, man. Coming in for five, I believe. Do I want one to plus do it one that plus way? three. Sorry, give me a sec. I don't know if I want to actually do it that way. Oh, I could do some dirty stuff instead. Okay, let me let me do this properly instead. So already um, been dirty. I, I know, right? So I'm actually gonna play. I'm gonna play the ghostly visit. Mm -hmm. Um. Pitching the Mavrian Skies. Okay. So this is coming in for five. Five because of the Art of War, right? Correct. Um, I choose not to block. I'll pick five. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be cool. I'm going to use my Spellbound Creepers. You be cool, man. You have attack and defended with an attack action card. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to play the Minoism to gain my action point. <laughs> um, yeah. And that's, uh, that okay, uses yeah. that uses one. And uh -huh. then uh, like if I... Because the other the other way is I pitch the Mavrian and then get and go again and try to Rosetta. But I don't have enough pitch, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, li life is like that. So I have one floating. Mm -hmm. I'll have one floating, but I'm going to come in with this Bounty Demigon. And that's going to come in for that's one five, plus six. three plus one. Uh, sorry, oh, bounding two, buffs itself, two, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so two, five, six. Six, uh, no go again. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I take six. Yep. Uh, There's a good reason I'm taking all this damage, because I this card doesn't block. That's true. Oh, it's the amulet. You showed it to me already when you fused. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I know. I actually know that already. Uh, you're going to get yeah, my creepers. Because uh, I don't, I didn't, I, did, I decided okay. not to Rosetta. Uh, I think that's I mean, worth it. I, that's worth it to get off that extra damage. Um, and then yeah. carry on husk. So I take one damage. I'll take it. Uh, over to you. Yeah. Yeah. So if I had kept the channel lakes, I would have died. Oh, you would have been have super one. dead. I could have kept one and gone to three. So I'm wondering if that would have been better to just to play it this turn and maybe. Yeah, but that you, that but... that came in for six, and you're at six. Well, I blocked with oh, two oh. channel lakes there. Yeah, you would have been able to do the channel, but you then you'd be at three, three. And I'm on yeah. six shackles. Yeah, anyway, uh, I'll flip this with Lexi, Weave Ice, I'll give you a Frostbite, and I think I'll just play the Amulet. Sure. And pass it to you. Alright, six Shackles, one, two, three, four, five, six. Total find all lol. Uh, Shadow Verser, Eclipse, CNC 1, CNC 2, Vexing, so no more CNCs for me. 
Good. But the, the, the one that I did get, I think, did or, did enough already. So it it did enough. Yeah, it did enough already. Uh, so let's. Okay. Now, is there a window for me to come back? I'm just looking at my stuff here. Uh, I'm going to start off with this Shadow of Urser pitching uh, a Tome of Findel. I'll be banishing Hal for the additional cost, so I have one floating without the Frostbite. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Creepers is gone, so there's no point in me sitting on No Hal. point in keeping it. Uh, yeah, I was going to ask. On Tome, on Tome, sorry, on Tome. Yeah, Tome is unplayable. 2A. Actually, I'll just take the 2. Taking the 2. Uh, I will play Belittle with the one remaining. Mm. I will re uh, reveal this Vexing Malice, so okay. additional cost satisfied. It's a blue Vexing Malice. Three. Uh, three go again. I'll be grabbing a Minoism. Sounds good. I'll block with Sleep Dart. Three. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, deck is getting kind of thin, which makes sense, but I've got like another solid it, two there's turns. There's kind of I like think. no hope for me to fatigue, I feel, uh, with this deck, so it's kind of... Still, I still have like couple like two full turns left in my left in my deck so exactly yeah yeah and i've been kind of blocking pretty conservatively i've used like two three cards for a few turns now yeah that's fair i would have uh, loved to keep my hand for when i had three of a kind but you did you i'll see pitch me. i'll pitch this uh so my plan is just to kill him with arcane honestly but uh, i'm gonna pitch this for howl from beyond so i have one floating mm -hmm. pitch the minoism sorry um and then I am going to chain, so create a shackle. Um, and then I am going to uh, vexing malice. So the go again won't matter because I don't have any floating. But uh, mm -hmm. this is still coming in for two arcane uh, and four physical. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the arcane has to be blocked because Rosetta just kills me. So I have no. Gonna... Uh, I have no um, floating though. No floating? Oh, sorry. Okay, there is no floating, so you can't reset on me. Mm, still, though, I think. Mm. Yeah, it was either it was either use the howl. I could have saved the howl. Uh, probably the better play, honestly. Now that I'm looking at it, just mm -hmm. save the howl and just pitch, pitch the minimalism, go again with the vexing, and then come in Rosetta. The problem is, uh, if I don't play the howl, I don't get the two arcane off Rosetta. That's that was that would be the issue there. So I played the howl. And then I just played out the vexing to get the buff because I didn't want to waste the buff. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Looking super grim though. Um, I will pitch. I think I just gotta keep blocking anyway because I can't work on one card hands. So I'm just gonna pitch chilling ice yep. vein to block one arcane. Take one. Down to three. Yep. And I'll block for four <laughs> with two 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 blocks. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, I'll take one off my uh, carry on husk. Yep. Past uh, Eclipse is not uh, blood debt. It's not right? blood debt, no. No, okay. Just making sure. All right, well, um, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, one, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, Waiting seven. Waiting to put my misery, I think, at this point. This is going to be way too hard to come back. Uh, double Ooh. bound. Uh, I whiffed bounding. most of it. Uh, the rest of my, like, good, all the Mavrians, Captain's Call. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully you yeah. can't play non-attack action to turn on your... your uh, uh, I, do, I have one in hand, so I should, okay, I should okay. be okay, yeah. Fine. Um, uh, I know what I'm, I'm gonna, doing. I'm going to Art of War. Uh, I'm just thinking about the second mode. So the first mode is going to be Banish to draw two. Hmm? Think, Natural, about the, yeah. think about the go again, because I have no creepers. I've I literally just saw most of my remaining go again go out the window. Yeah, yeah. The chances of me drawing um, almost all my go. I have to go go again. I don't have a choice, mm. which is actually a little depressing, but <laughs> I will choose go again. Okay. Uh, and draw two. So I'll draw one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I still have like one full turn after this, which is nice. <laughs> will uh, I have a full turn after this? That I don't know. That is, <laughs> doesn't sound like my problem. Um, <laughs> That's a you problem. That is a you problem. Uh, so I chose go again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot. Are those both red boundings or is one red, one blue? One red's one blue. Okay. Hmm, I chose go again. Probably not. I mean, I think it's still fine. I mean, you've got three boundary. playable cards there. I can see go again. Making making the mm. difference. 
then at least into Rosetta if you wanted to. So, uh, I'm, I'll have to like I um, your clock is Rosetta, right? Like you can't yeah. defend more than one. So I'm gonna be no. Rosetta so so much three as turns here. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, shackle that, do that, do that. Okay, so I'm going to be playing Captain's Call Blue. Um, okay. Which is good because I have the bounding, so I'm going to be choosing yeah. plus two because I don't want to screw with my go again because I've already Art of Ward. Yeah. Uh, if I had the Creepers, I would definitely be plus one, plus one, just FYI for anyone watching. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would be playing the red bounding, and this is going to okay, be coming for in for six. six. Yeah, four, okay, six. Well, six would go again yeah. off Art of War. Yeah, well, I've got six here, two arrows. Yep. Makes sense. Uh, I'll be shackling here, going up to mm -hmm. eight. I will then be playing uh, Shrill of Skull Form Yellow. I've created a six shackle, more. so it's going to be coming in for six go again. I have one card in hand. Okay, here's a Frost Fang, and here's my New Horizon. <laughs> Blocking four, taking two. <laughs> yep, I'm just gonna losing the you. arsenal. Yeah, I put rain razors to block one of it. Yeah, yeah. can't do uh, anything about that. Yeah, because that, or I just come in for like four off the rift bind or something like that, <laughs> and then I still have another yeah. full turn after it, so I just exactly. draw this. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I have. I, I think um, I have. It really bed. came down to me drawing channel lakes. Yeah, the channel because... lakes earlier rather than later to slow me down, but I still have the vexing. Uh, the Drowning Dire, which gains Dominate, funnily enough. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Actually a win con nowadays. <laughs> yeah, I was going to uh, say. And I, had, and I had the the last Howl, because I put it back from the Unhallowed, right? So I had a Howl to turn them on. So I, I would have been that is true. fine. Um, yeah, yeah. There's no but... hope. I mean, um, because I'm not running any, like, high-value defense cards in this deck, mm -hmm. it's very hard to outrace Chain. Or, sorry, not outrace, I mean to uh, fatigue him. Mm -hmm. um, if I was running a class that actually had natural built-in defense, like old him, or even like dash to some extent, because she runs so many blue and so many like unmovable and stuff, and so many D reacts, um, there's a chance. But Lexi yeah. doesn't really have that, and no armor really. Uh, everything breaks. Mm -hmm. I think that game was so. At the beginning, my shackles were quite poor. Uh, mm -hmm. I was able to like hedge a little bit with Shadow Verser and play it properly, more or less, to try to make sure I have something. If I miss, which I missed. Shackle one two three, I missed all shackles. I would say so. Yeah. Uh, I think time. I might have hit one, uh, and then I ended up hitting like one off the four two. Like I, I didn't have a particularly good shackle turn. Yeah. Uh, shackle yeah. game, so I had to really hedge against it. I got two mm -hmm. art of wars, which was quite nice. Uh, I got that big C and C turn, really good for pressure. Yeah. I think the the key to Lexi is because you already know that fatiguing is really not an option. And if I saw heavy ice and needed to somehow slow down, then I could, because I had Eclipse. Uh, yeah. and I just wouldn't use Belittle's Shuffle. I just would make sure to actually stack and wait. Uh, the issue is that yeah. I don't want to like stack and then they have Channel Lake. And then I've robbed Channel yeah. Lakes on my stack when I'm trying to go off. It becomes yeah. very, very hard without things, something like Aether Iron Weave or something to like pump it. But I'm never running Aether Iron Weave in this matchup because the Carry On Husk is uh -huh. so, so good. To block yeah, like yeah. one big as arrow. we've seen yeah my nine my nine chilling ice bane was just blocked immediately yeah I, I would say like the sideboard was correct for this matchup i think mm -hmm. i don't think the cp like maybe i bring in the howl from beyonds the red vexing seem okay i don't even know if the red vexings are great in this matchup so uh mm -hmm. I, I might actually bring in the third howl in this matchup but the, the issue with the howl from beyond is it's cost two and then if you actually did start getting your Winter's Grasp, your, not Winter's Grasp, Winter's Bite, and your Channel yeah. Lake, and these start yeah. costing three, uh, I only side into 22 blues in this matchup. So the list has 28, and I side out six. Okay. Um, yeah. And so I'm only running 22 blues, and you saw you know, you know, saw how many banishes were blues, right? Like I was all the Mavrians, Captains, yeah. like I was banishing blues left and right here, so uh, later in the game. So if I'm banishing the blues later in the yeah. game, and I need to actually play Unhallowed with my four, a four red <laughs> hand... So that's why I think running two is fine. Um, yeah. To cut down yeah. to cut down to a clean sixty, and then based on what Lexi is doing and what Lexi is able to do, I would say based on channel frequency and based on like if they're able to get a really fat three of a kind, you'll kind of yeah. know more or less what they're doing. I think into lightning Lexi, I don't think like I think chain just block up tilt shackle three shackle four try to pivot mm. 
uh, that's probably like don't don't really try for aggressiveness early. You're not gonna out aggro lightning a good like death dealer lightning Lexi. Right. Uh, just goes so fast. Uh, very very hard. Yeah. Um, not possible to fatigue. You just have to like pivot and just hope they brick. Um, that's also like an interesting matchup too. But yeah, I hope yeah. everyone kind of enjoyed this showcase. Do you have any notes for the Lexi side? Get channel yeah, and die trying. I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, the channels, but also it, it takes um, a lot of snowballing in this deck to really get going. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to be able to put on the ice pressure, the, the frostbite pressure every turn. Uh, mm -hmm. And even though I was kind of giving you one every time I flipped an ice card with Lexi, it wasn't enough. I needed the arrows to kind of get in there. The chilling and ice fan and such. Make your turns weak enough that I can actually keep a few cards to keep going. Mm -hmm. uh, I just have to keep icing you down, but... That one CNC turn was really strong, and I, I think I could have started something if CNC wasn't played because of the three of a kind into two chilling ice veins. Mm -hmm. That would have just completely shut your turn down if I was able to do that. Yeah. Um, so it did hurt. That was the one turn I wanted to keep everything, so I had to block up. Um, yeah, CNC for nine is strong. Seeing, and not seeing Channel Lake was really hard this game. So I think I think yeah. it worked out. The, the game kind of played out the way that I assumed it would. Uh, it's it's hard for Lexi to kind of get ahead unless you draw those power cards, and mm -hmm. if you don't, um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty much dead in the water at this point. Yeah, I would I would agree. Like it looks it looks lopsided here, but like the the thing is, I was only I only had one more turn, so I had to kill him uh, because yeah, I didn't get we were that much earlier. Down aggression. to the end there. Yeah, yeah exactly. we're down to the end, uh, which chain kind of has to do regardless. But I think that like you definitely have to manage your aggressive resources as chain very well and order it properly and try to get the maximum value i say I, I didn't attack as much with rosetta for two and two as i wanted because i kept banishing all my mavrians and captain's calls and like i i, I think i only saw two yeah. like i saw the blue one at the beginning and then i saw a blue one at the end and i pretty much didn't mm -hmm. have any other mauve or any other captains and i'm running yeah. three blue mauves two yellow mauves a yellow captains and like three mm -hmm. blue captains or something and i was not two out of all of them <laughs> Um, right. And that's really there to turn on those those Rosetta swings to keep poking because you're gonna need those resources mm -hmm. um, back in your deck. Like the, those other cards, like attacking with them is all fine and good, but if Rob just blocks, uh, I will dwindle. And so that's probably something I would be more cognizant of yeah. in this matchup. It just kind of what the cards like. I got Art of War, so I did attacks. I didn't. I didn't really care about the Rosetta, right? But makes sense. With that, yeah, yeah. Appreciate everyone for watching this game one. We'll have uh, other CC games coming out later, closer to the, probably in April, closer to the actual pro tour itself after our kind of blitz series. Uh, with that, yeah. the deck list will be in the description. The U, the, um, the the Yuki list, the Lexi list was provided by the Canadian well, National Champ as a Lexi, template. Yeah. Yep. This is Yuki's list, yeah. This is, this <laughs> yeah. is Yuki's you list. Have to uh, shout that out, yeah. Oh no, well, I'm shouting it out now, right? And then the chain list is Cody's list that I just grabbed off of um, uh, Fab TCG. and. CG. I think it's Fabulous. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Yuki did mention that it is very, very much it's like a rough Lexi template build. You will want to, like, kind of, depending on what you're expecting more of, you might want to, like, shift it to more towards uh, an yeah. aggressive meta or uh, more control, like yeah. fatigue, fatigue kind of meta, uh, yeah. higher armor. Yeah. So, fatigue shot kind of meta. <laughs> fatigue shot kind of meta. Uh, <laughs> with that, I think this will be one of the last videos we put out for this subscriber video. So, if you did like our content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we definitely appreciate it quite a bit. Uh, we will be at Pro Tour in May in New Jersey. Myself and Rob will be there. Um, so if you know any good uh, steak places that you want to give us yeah. a recommendation with, uh, feel free. As anything on Manhattan uh, and, and the, on the island there would be super, super We're looking to eat well. <laughs> We're looking to eat well. We don't come out there that often, so the often at all, anyways. But uh, with that. Appreciate everyone for watching. Whenever you're watching this, wherever in the world, have a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Bye for now.